So welcome along to the first event of CES 2019. This is the Samsung First Look. Now, there's no models of TV having been announced here, so we don't know anything about the new lineup of QLED TVs. But interestingly, they've been showing us some concept screens as well as the next investment with micro LED. So let's take a look at some of the concepts that they're showing off this evening. The event was held at the Aria Resort with a full-on press conference and release event, which was dominated by TV announcements, but no actual models at this stage. The main event was the latest development of micro LED technology, which was shown at last year's CES as a concept screen called The Wall. This year, Samsung announced the first ever 75 inch consumer grade 4K micro LED TV. Due to the technical advances in the ultra fine pitch semiconducting packing process, the gap between the tiny LED chips has been narrowed enough and Samsung is now able to create a 4K micro LED display in a smaller, more home friendly 75 inch form factor. No release date has been announced yet, but with Samsung able to create smaller screen sizes, actual retail units can't be far off, but we think price tags at this point will be massive if they do show up. The black levels, colour brightness and off-axis viewing angles were excellent on the sample screen that we were shown, however we were not able to get too close and were kept back by the stage that the screen was mounted on. The material being shown was also actual custom made content that really doesn't tend to push the concept models being shown, so it was impossible to make any real judgments on the image quality or motion. Nevertheless, what we did see looked promising and we're sure we'll be able to get a closer look at this TV later in the week and we'll obviously try and get some more technical details. There was also a new version of the wall on display and this time it's a monster at well over 200 inches in size. What was really impressive was the image quality and the fact that despite the modular design it was incredibly difficult to see the actual joins in the screens being used. It genuinely looked like one massive screen. Black levels and viewing angles were again superb and we were able to get very close to this actual screen and view it at extreme angles where the image held up extremely well. Because of the modular design of these screens and the micro LED technology employed, it's possible to make the screen size anything you like or any ratio you desire. You can have it as just one panel showing your picture hang on the wall or add or subtract the number of modules you use to create larger or smaller screen widths, lengths and heights. For home cinema fans who hate the black bars of scope films but want to see the image as intended, it should be possible to create 240 to 1 ratio screens for movies and then have the screen move to revert back to 16 by 9 images. Or you could even go to 4 by 3 ratio for your classic movies, or even 276 to 1 to watch the 1959 version of Ben Hur. Alternatively, you could have the sides of a 21 by 9 ratio wall show other content while watching 16 by 9 films or TV programs. The possibilities are endless, it seems. There is no doubt in my mind that micro LED could be a potential game changer, but the lack of any model announcements at this moment in time at CES does point to the difficulty in the manufacturing process to bring the technology to market at an affordable price point. When you consider that each panel will need 22 million pixels for an 8.3 million pixel 4K image, as you need separate RGB pixels, and each has to work without any dead pixels during the manufacturing process, that points to the difficulty in getting yields and quality high enough at a price point that people can afford. So as you can see, it's really quite dark in here, and the main attraction has been the wall, which looks absolutely fantastic when you get up close. You can't see where the modules uh, are next to each other, you can't see where they join up and you're allowed to get really quite off axis with it and it looks amazing. Now, we have to manage expectations here. These screens are not going to be available to the consumer this year and uh, those with very, 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 very deep pockets might be able to buy one. Um, it's still a little bit away, the technology, but it's promising to see it being developed in such a way and on show here at CES 2019. If you liked the video, then please subscribe, please click that notification bell and come back to see more of our CES coverage here on AV Forums. Thanks for watching.